Welcome to another UCCS Machine Shop video. Today you'll be learning how to use dial calipers. The calipers we use can measure three decimal places. The markings on the body display hole and tenth inches. Hole inch increments are raised on the scale. Tenths can be found in between the inch measurements. The last two decimal places are found on the dial scale. When put together, this is how the calipers are read. Let's try one for practice. What is this reading? The calipers read 2.325, where each number is found is indicated on the screen. Let's try another one. What is this calipers reading? It's showing 0 0.474. Now that you have a grasp on how to take a reading, let's go over the basics of operation. The first step is to close the jaws and make sure the reading is zeroed. If the needle doesn't point to zero, loosen the face and rotate it to align with the needle. When taking measurements, apply slight pressure with the thumb wheel and lock the calipers in place using the knob on top. There are four ways to take measurements. The first is using the main jaws to take an outside measurement. This is by far the most commonly used application. When the jaws are locked in place, you want slight resistance when the part is pulled out. The measurement in this case is 0 0.321. The second way to take a reading is using the other jaws to take an inside measurement. This is useful when you need the diameter of a hole. The third way to measure is using the step gauge on the back side of the calipers. Place one edge on a raised surface and slide the jaws open on the next step. In this case, the reading is 0.249. These step gauges can also be used to measure the distance from a surface to a raised lip. Finally, each caliper has a hole depth gauge that lowers out of the bottom. For ease of viewing, it's being shown measuring their outside ridge of this piece. Thank you for watching. Um, you know you can't grind aluminum, right? <laughs>